Hi, I'm Dr. Stacy Ripke, and for today's Three Minute Mondays, we are here with Dr. Andrew Spielman to learn all about the college's rare book collection and the impact that learning about history within the profession of dentistry can help us contribute to the future. Come along with us. We are in the rare book library that the College of Dentistry has acquired in 1958. It belonged to a historian by the name of Bernard Weinberger, a former faculty member in between 1928 and 1932, who taught history of dentistry and medicine here at the college. His collection was sold to the college, about 930 volumes. It was at the time one of the most remarkable collection of dentally related books dating back to the oldest, which is a 1546 edition of the first dental book ever published. The question you have to ask, why bother with history? Why bother with rare books? Well, to start with about the importance of history, uh, Jakob Borkhardt stated that history is important not to be smart the next time around, but to be wise for all times. We here at the college emphasize the humanities because we believe students must know that just learning the state of the art is like watching the last image of a movie without watching the rest of the movie. We need to understand where we are coming from, how important is legacy, tradition. Every knowledge that we possess today is because we are standing on the shoulders of giants. I would like to highlight this 1546 edition of the first dental book ever published. This was meant for laypersons. And you can see in this particular section the image of a dentist extracting the tooth of a person in 1546. So you're not sending these books out to be restored. You're doing that here at the college. Yeah. Can you show us how that yeah. works? I will completely rebuild the spine. I will reattach the two boards. I will make these raised bands in the back and then completely cover it with a new leather and label it. I will use this homemade uh, <laughs> press that was pretty much built from scratch. So the next step is to clean the spine using this particular um, press. The next step is to use a chemical to remove any leftover uh, glue. Then this is the actual spine that was restored completely using new leather. A hundred years ago, every dental school offered a course in history of dentistry. Currently, only two schools in North America offer that. We are the most extensive course. We offer a full semester course in history of dentistry. The course in history of medicine and dentistry that I teach for the past 20 years selects interested students at the beginning of their freshman year. One super cool thing about NYU is that there is a course in history that's offered as an elective to first year students. It's a nice way to get a humanities aspect in the hardcore dental curriculum with all of our science classes. Learning about the history of dentistry is so important because what was considered state of the art five years ago, ten years ago, isn't state of the art today and what we consider state of the art today might not be the optimal. Participation in this course has been life changing. It has elevated my dental education and I have found a really good mentor in this school. It has been such a privilege to spend the day with Dr. Spielman and learn about this remarkable collection. We are so fortunate to have this here at the College of Dentistry and to know that everyone in our community can benefit from it as a result. That's it for today's Three Minute Mondays and I'll see you next week.